Welcome to Cargo Planning, where today we will look at phase three of the calculations focusing on VU, the underwater volume. The underwater volume formula, VU, for a ship is a little different from the barge and the box shaped vessels that we were looking at earlier. Let us look at the underwater volume formula. VU is equal to CD times L times B times D. We know VU is the underwater volume already, that is in cubic meters, where, where L in the formula is the length of the water plane in meters, B is the breadth of the water plane or the beam in meters, D is the draft also in meters, and CB is the block coefficient, which is a ratio of the underwater volume of the vessel. We will be looking closer to CB shortly. Well, let us look at a question now. We're given the following question. Find the underwater volume and displacement of a ship. 140 meters long, 32 meters wide, a draft of 5.72 meters, and a block coefficient CB of 0 0.88 in salt. Now for the solution. Now using this formula, VU equals CB times L times B times draft, we substitute the values for CB 0 0.88, length 140, 32 for breadth, and 5.72 for draft, resulting in 22,550.53 cubic meters for the underwater volume. Looking at the displacement, where the displacement formula is displacement is underwater volume times density. We were told that the density was salt water, which is 1.025 times the underwater volume, 22,550.53 tons. That gives us 23,114.29 tons. Now let us look at block coefficient. The block coefficient is the ratio of the underwater volume of a vessel and the volume of a block having the same overall dimension. Remember when we did water plane, we looked only at the surface, which would be the length time the breadth or the beam. Now we introduce the draft, which give the figure a three-dimensional um, effect or a block, as you can see. And so this is where it, it came from. So the overall dimension. So when we transpose, we can transpose for, for CB in the formula, um, where VU is equal to CB times L times B times the draft and we when we transpose CB would be equal to VU divided by L times B times draft where VU is the underwater volume which would be in cubic meters and then we will divide by the length of the water plane the breadth of the water plane and the draft. 
therefore removing the cubic meters and so CB as you know does not have a unit Now, let's look at the displacement. Earlier, we stated that displacement is density times VU. Therefore, displacement would be equal to density times CB times L times B times draft. And we know underwater volume would be VU, and therefore, that would be in cubic meters. The density of the water would be in tons per cubic meters, and so cubic meters would eliminate each other, leaving tons. So displacement is always um, the unit for, for displacement is always tons. Now let's look at a question. Let's look at a question. We are given that the Density that we are working with is seawater, which is 1.025 tons per cubic meters. We have been given the block coefficient 0 0.74 CB. We have been given the length of the vessel at the waterline L, which is 138 meters. The beam of the vessel at the waterline, which is 25 meters the draft of the vessel d is 6.45 meters here we have been asked to find the displacement of this vessel let's look at the solution Using the displacement formula where density times VU expounding density times CB times L times B times draft, substituting the values where the density is 1.025 times 0 0.74 for CB times 138 for the length uh, times 25 for the breadth and times 6.45 for the draft. We would have the density 1.025 times 16,000 466.85 cubic meters the VU when we multiply the VU times the density we would get 16,878.52 as the displacement of that figure of that um, vessel now We, we, we will be continuing this, all of these calculations and uh, we, we just want you to continue to join us, join us as we continue to enlighten you somewhat with these calculations. We hope you are gaining, hope you are learning. So, just continue to subscribe to Lane's ED Enhancement and don't forget, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you next time.